Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Finally, I'm here with a reveal video. Um, I've been working so hard with a company called Graham and Brown on this project for the past couple of days, days actually, <laughs> weeks. Um, this is why I haven't been really uh, posting over here, but I'm finally back. Um, this was a very exciting project, but also a long one. I am so excited to show you all my my office reveal finally. Um, I actually refurbished this office, office not long ago, but we were in a rush. So whatever paint I just got painted all over the office and stuff like that, but I didn't really feel that that's uh, the mood I wanna have in this office. So I wasn't really happy with it. So I actually partnered up with a company called Graham & Brown. If you're based in the UK, you probably already heard about them. They're quite a popular interior based um, company. Actually, they have really, really good quality wallpapers and wall paint, which I'm gonna be showing you all around here, what I actually did and what I used. And don't forget, as always, I will pop everything in the description box below for you. I'm just so excited to show you all. So the first thing I did is actually removed everything that I could uh, from the walls to make sure I can get behind things. Once I done that, I actually had on this wall that you can see right there some pictures um, hung up. So what I did, I removed them, got the holes and filled them all in nice and easy. The next step was the ceiling light. So I removed the light from the ceiling and put it in the side because I haven't actually changed this one. I really like this. This is from Devonham, so I wanted to put, put this back on later on. If you follow my channel on a regular basis, you probably saw me doing um, other wall paneling options. And I just absolutely love wall panels. I believe they give such a beautiful texture and just that unique feeling to any room. I literally added every room that I refurbished so far, some sort of molding or panels to the wall. I just love them. So once I had the right measurements for the entire room, what I did is open my beautiful wallpapers from Graham and Brown. So the wallpapers I picked is called the Bouquet uh, wallpaper. It just so me, it's dark, it's colorful, and it also has that deep texture to it that I love so much. It's green, I just love that shape of green with the purple and red going through it. It's just so me and just literally as soon as I've seen it, I wanted to have it. So I'm just so in love with this wallpaper. I'm going to wallpaper the ceiling um, as you can see me here struggling that's literally what happened in the first couple of hours not gonna lie I was swearing in every language that I know it was just not sticking on <laughs> it was very stressful and I never actually felt like this before when I was doing DIY but I was so close to give up um, so if you're ever planning to <laughs> do the ceiling with wallpapers definitely get some help because it's not fun, it's really not fun doing it alone. Whilst it's not fun um, doing the wallpaper on the ceiling, it's definitely worth it. As you can see, this was after a few hours later. It's just so gorgeous. I can't believe how beautiful it actually looks. I just love spending my time here and looking at the ceiling. So I am really happy with it. I picked two gorgeous wall paint from Graham Brown. The first one I used is called Angel Dust. It is, as you can see it right here, it's durable matte uh, wall paint. Um, a sort of a white shade, but not pure white. Um, it's sort of like a cotton white, that's why I would say. It's just a tiny bit of grey, but again, it's not a cool undertone that you're going through this paint. And it's amazingly smooth, very nice to work with. High quality as well, and I would highly just recommend this wall paint. It's amazing to work with.
basically I follow the process in this entire refurbishment. I work my way from the ceiling to the middle part and then to the bottom part. Um, I absolutely love looking at just the wallpaper on the ceiling. I can't get over how beautiful it is. And I just love this white shade uh, going in the middle. Again, I love dark colors, but because the wallpaper is actually such a dramatic um, and overlooking um, piece of the entire office, I didn't want to overdo it in the middle part as well. The second paint I picked from Graham and Brown is called Battle Paint, a sort of a mossy green color. Um, I absolutely love this shade. I'm just so in love with it. And this is to be honest, the first item I actually picked and created the entire room around it. I just love the feeling that it gives. Um, and this, I just knew that this is the sort of um, style I want to go in this room. It's just so gorgeous with these panels as well. I used a uh, molding paint from Frenchic, um, the all fresco range. Again, it's a very similar shade to the one that I actually used on the walls. I just love it. Yeah, I'm so excited. I've literally been spending the past couple of days here until like 2 a.m. Don't want to leave. So. so, yeah, so let me guys show you around. It's not a big office, not gonna lie. It's about six square meter. Um, but it's more than enough what I'm actually using it for. So let me guys um, grab you off this stand and show you around. I'm just so excited. The flooring, I actually left the flooring as it was, which is a laminar flooring from Wix. Then, oh, look at those colors. Oh my God. Right, so the color, I picked this paint from Graham and Brown. Um, and this is called bottle paint um, and the white is actually called angel dust so it's not an actually pure white color it's um, with a hint of a tiny hint of gray then these moldings that I actually cut and designed and um, I used the timbers these moldings from Wix and um, I painted them with French chick paint but again I will pop everything in the description box below then over here what we got is all these free units they actually building units from IKEA what I did is put all these free in then connected them with an extra timber I mixed the paint which I'm super proud of <laughs> this paint I mixed out of two wall spot paint to match it sort of with that black so I think it turned out quite well not gonna lie then what I did um, I shared this in the previous video I got rid of the billy doors and actually I created these door um, I'm very very proud of them and I actually <laughs> very in love uh, how they turned out i got these little handles um from aliexpress they were a couple of pounds again very unique very lovely oh and my favorite part of it all is -da 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 -da, the ceiling look at that guys so i wallpapered my ceiling with graham and brown oh my god it's just so gorgeous. It's called a bouquet um, wallpaper and it's very high quality and it's just amazing. I can't believe it. It was a hassle to make, really, really big hassle to make. Um, I did suffer with it. That little um, light is actually from Debenhams, um, as you guys heard probably. Um, they shut down in Manchester, so not too sure if you can actually get those anymore. Um, then what I have here is my Muppy Fall um, wall paint and this is where me and Carl actually met so I got that here with my IKEA light then again here it's not 
fully done yet as you can see the shelves quite empty I'm still working on get some pieces from uh, Homesense but yeah um, then over here we have some beautiful prints from Desanio as usual I just absolutely in love with this company yeah. we going around the beautiful ceiling I just can't get over it then again there is another belly unit over there it's just standing in its own um, literally all it does is for my camera bags and lights and reflectors and things like that um, then obviously I just love panels so I actually created three panels over here again use the bottle paint um, from um, Graham and Brown the angel dust right over there and the bouquet uh, wall plate wallpaper on the top <clears throat> I painted these moldings with the French chick moss paint right so regarding the desk what I did is basically I emptied one of the Billy unit shelves um, I built from those um, I think it's about six pound these um, dust tables I got two of those added some legs and I covered it with leather um, so that's all basically I did um, to basically look like it's coming out of them actually using so I am very happy with them made happy a little holder uh, let me just pop you guys right over here so as you can see little legs over there then I put his um, non-dog bed hello hello say hi say hi oh he's just so clingy no 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 where are you pushing the chair <laughs> yeah so no matter how much I actually try and put him in that bed he's just ending up in mine aren't you aren't you little boy so that's all to it guys um to this video i hope you enjoy this and again i am so happy um how this office turned out i really hope you guys like it as well like i said i have been working on this quite a while now and finally it's finished and i'm so ready for my next project and to show you that um so yeah let me know what you think guys in the description box below and hope to see you in my next video thank you again for watching bye where is your bed where is your bed hmm where is yours friends friends are we friends thank you bye